Today is Tuesday, May 8th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm John Westerberg. President Trump is preparing to tell the world whether he plans to follow through on his threat to pull out of the landmark nuclear accord with Iran. If the deal collapses, Iran would be free to resume prohibited enrichment activities, while businesses and banks doing business with Iran would have to scramble to extricate themselves or run afoul of the U.S. government. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met with Chinese President Xi Jinping in a northern Chinese port city and pledged his continuing commitment to denuclearization ahead of his expected summit with U.S. President Donald Trump. The meeting Monday and Tuesday in Dalian is the second between Xi and Kim in recent weeks, following, following Kim's March visit to Beijing, his first since taking power six years ago. A former Minneapolis police officer who shot and killed an unarmed Australian woman last summer after she called 911 didn't speak in a brief court appearance Monday afternoon. Mohamed Noor is charged with third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter in the July 15th death of Justine Ruschek Damond. Assistant Hennepin County Attorney Amy Sweezy said Tuesday that prosecutors have been providing evidence to the defense as a part of discovery. Sweezy told Judge Catherine Quaintance that no, no plea negotiations were underway. St. Thomas Senior Valerie Brucus has been awarded the Fulbright Scholarship, a prestigious award that aims to help people further their educational goals through international relations. The scholarship will allow Brukus to fly out to the University of Tel Aviv in Israel in October to receive an accelerated international master's degree in security and diplomacy. Check Tommy Media for the full story. For TommyMedia.com, I'm John Westerberg.